my uh, third grade teacher, Mrs. Lelia Sampson, in the Logan Heights Barrio in San Diego, California, at Lowell School, uh, asked me to come up in front, sing, in front of class and sing. And I had never done that. I had never spoken in class. I had been uh, punished for speaking in Spanish early in first day of class in first grade in another school. And uh, so here she is, and she asked me to come up and sing, and I sang Three Blind Mice. And she turned around and said, you have a beautiful voice. You have a beautiful voice, Juan, she said. So, so the rest of my life from that day on became a life of having a voice, uh, of encouraging beauty in the voice of others. And that's what I've done uh, all the way till this very moment, every second. And uh, that's what I believe in, stories, voices, uh, lives, experiences, and all the beautiful cultural uh, sarape uh, that uh, uh, that we all have of expressing ourselves and warming our, our communities with is the colors and textures and uh, inner inner and outer rainbows of our uh, of our literary and human experience. The humanities are peacemakers. It's perhaps one of the most powerful way to uh, to generate peace is by listening to someone's story, a, a poem, or a saying, and all of a sudden our heart is moved. So whenever we stop and listen to someone's tiny story or or big story, it doesn't matter. Uh, our hearts will be moved in a heart that yearns to be moved because everything else is hard and tough and difficult. And all of a sudden, I am feeling so many things, happiness, kindness, compassion, humanity. I feel, I feel complete.